Yes, I'm going to make a daily vlog of the sniper training of the Austrian military. Hey, what's up guys? As already mentioned last week, I'm going back to the military for two weeks of sniper education and I'm so excited for it. I really can't wait. Now, I have a really good announcement for you guys. I'm allowed to recut there. I got permission that I can recut with my camera some parts of the training. So navigation, shooting techniques, camouflage, fieldcraft skills, survival in the wilderness, all this kind of stuff I will learn there and I'm allowed to record it right there. I will actually try to do daily vlogging which will be quite of a challenge because I have to do the sniper training which is already a physical stress and also a mental stress. But at the same time I have to do daily videos uh, I don't know if I can do it I will try my best to keep you guys updated you know release a video every day it will start from next week Sunday that's when I will go to the military and from then it will start for two weeks the entire education so in order to survive this training I have to prepare physically of course I'm playing airsoft and you know if you're on a milsim you do get some physical stress but at the military it's just another level, you're carrying a backpack which is heavy as fuck and I'm not used to it anymore. So today I'm here at the biggest park in Vienna and I brought a backpack with 30 kilograms of weight simulation, that's how I call it. Inside I have not the stuff at the military, so there's no backpacks or things inside, it's just... Uh, just primitive weight, it's a toolbox and the toolbox it's filled with those iron weights so I get a weight of 30 kilograms and with this weight uh, today I will march 15 kilometers I also bought new shoes those are shoes designed for really long marches like 50 100 kilometers in order to not get blisters and stuff I have to walk them in just like every other shoe and that's why I'm here today I will take my backpack and just walk 50 kilometers along this alley to first see if I can handle the stress of the heavy backpack in combination with the new shoes and the distance. Now today is not the first day I'm doing this because next week the sniper education is already starting. I'm actually training already for a week. For those of you who are following me on Instagram, they already know from the Instagram stories that I did quite a lot of training. I tried to walk with this backpack twice a week, 15 kilometers at 30 kilograms. But just to show you guys how I do the preparation, let's do this. Some of you guys might ask now, didn't you already do the sniper education? Why are you going back to the military again? And the answer is yes and no. Uh, the new sniper training I'm doing will be way more advanced, it will be a little longer and you know I will just first refresh my skills and on top of that we'll also learn some cool new stuff when it comes to especially surviving in the wilderness, camouflage and shooting. And what's also interesting is the whole daily vlog thing. So I always wanted to do daily vlogging, but when I looked at all those vloggers, how they fill their videos with content, it's basically, you know, it's this guy who's standing up in the morning, he gets some, you know, some cornflakes, then he goes to Starbucks, drinks his fancy coffee and, you know, types into his MacBook. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool if there would be a vlog with some military content? But I, because I think, because I think that's something very new out there. I don't even know if somebody has done this before. So, can't say no to this challenge, I have to do it. Seven kilometers of this. Every time when I'm, when I'm walking in this park, I have to think back of my favorite moments at the military and I think the best one by far was the testing for the sniper education. There were only six people out of 200 who were allowed to do this sniper training and I just was so motivated I wanted to do it no matter what. You could apply for this training course during the boot camp of the Austrian military and because the boot camp itself was already so tough most people just said no fucking way I'm not gonna rape my body even more but I, I just wanted to do it I always wanted to be a sharpshooter so I applied for it and there were 20 other people besides me who were motivated enough to do this and so they had to test because only six people were allowed 
to actually participate in the training. And the testing was, it's fun, it's one of my favorite moments when I think back of the military. So they let us sleep in this kind of cinema room, it was like a presentation meeting room where they, you know, they show you what to do at the Austrian military and they had those huge speakers. So we slept in there and at 3 in the morning we got... <laughs> The alarm was basically a song called Die Madam Fucker Die by Dope. The link to the song will be in the video description. You have to check it out. It's, it's the best song to wake up if you want to do some push-ups. So that's how they, they woke us up. Then we had to do some push-ups and immediately, you know, grab our heavy backpack and march through the entire night. Then they, they fired blanks and stuff so we had to cover, crawl on the ground. It was minus I think 15 degrees back then. It was in winter. And it was really tough. And the last 10 who survived this, this torture during the night, they were allowed to, to do the theory test. And the theory test was very simple. It was just some, some math stuff, you know, some very basic stuff. But while we had to fill out this test, this exam, the music was so ridiculous. It was like Disney movies from some, you know, some princess movies. Then it was speed metal. Then it was some gore, some core, some dubstep, all kinds of ridiculous music, really loud and also a distraction beside this was that we had to do the test in the ABC protection masks and the gas mask and <laughs> yeah it was funny, it's, it's one of my favorite moments, especially because I made it, I made it, I made it into the six people, into the choice of six people and I was allowed to do the snap education. Guys, don't miss out on this unique opportunity of this daily vlogging of the sniper training. It will be something very, very unique on YouTube. I don't know if anybody has recorded a training like this from the first person perspective. So don't miss out on it. I'll see you guys next Sunday. And now I have to finish my 15 kilometers of training.